everybody, welcome back. I am getting ready to transplant the White Widow and the Harley Sue. All these little seedlings are getting pot bound, they are getting root bound, and that means the roots are getting to be too much for the amount of soil that's in the pot. So it becomes all roots and then it gets no nutrients because there's no soil to hold the nutrients in there. And unless you're doing hydroponics, you need your soil to be in there to hold some of the nutrients for those roots. So these are all pot bound. I've already checked and made sure. And you can kind of tell because one of them is having a slight deficiency problem. And I will show you that girl in a minute. It's one of the white widow. And the reason why I know it's a deficiency problem is because of the signs that it's showing me. And I will show you that in just a minute. Oh, yeah, it's very hot in here. Usually I would be doing this outside, in my tent, at a table, all nice and comfortable. But right now the whole tent is filled up with everything that was from this room when it flooded. And at that time it was still flooding outside, so I just set up the girls in here. So that was the best situation I had for them not to stay out in the tent and get all wet and humid when they're first starting to grow because then they don't use their little greenhouse situation the right way. It stays too moist and then they get moldy. So yeah. So the best thing I could have done is be in here and I guess be on my hands and knees trying to repot. <laughs> but in cannabis you gotta do what you gotta do to make these girls awesome. <laughs> you can kind of see that, right? Okay. Alright, so what I did was I have the White Widow and I watered them like normal so the soil can be compact and it doesn't break up as soon as I try to flip it over and get it out of the pot. Right here I have one of the pots. It's a two gallon pot and I already have it labeled. You always want to make sure you have everything labeled. Do not get things mixed up because you'll regret it in the end. <laughs> you want it to have enough underneath but also be able to sit inside. So the best tell is to set the pot inside before you take it out. If you set it inside and a little bit can go over what you have here because this is compacted in and you want a little bit, as long as a little bit can go over and be not totally overflowing the pot, then you'll be fine. That's how much soil you want in the pot around this new baby. <laughs> So I take and I loosen up the sides by making the sides scrunch out. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Take it and go like this so the sides pop away from the soil. And go like this on every side. Make sure it's popped away from the sides. And then you take it, hold it up away from everything else so you don't bang the top of the plant. Ah, see, try not to have too much of that gone. And look at those roots. That's a nice one. And this isn't even the worst one. So <laughs> this is one of the good ones that's not too badly yet. And there we go. You just set it right in here gently. I'm actually going to put a little bit more underneath. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to set it in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take handfuls and just put it around it. Yeah. You try to make sure that you hold the plant up straight. You don't want it leaning sideways. There we go. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Mm. All right. Now you don't try to cover any leaves. Oops. My bad. <laughs> All right. Now you try to make as much soil in here as possible. Make it nice and filled up. Not too much more than where it was already. Maybe in like a quarter of an inch above where the soil was. Like this much. Between my two fingers, this much. Above where the top of the pot, the soil, like right here. Like it would fill here. So that much more soil. So you don't bury any leaves and you don't want to bury it too deep. Only because these have branches way down. 
If you have a long, leggy plant that doesn't have branches down here, you can bury it a little further down. But just remember, if you do that, the roots won't have as much soil under it to the ground and, or to the bottom of the pot. The soil will be less under and there'll be less room for the roots to go to. So, but you can do that. Just use a bigger pot if you have a long, leggy plant and then that way it will make up. Oh, huh. It's hard to kneel down here like this. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Look at that. Happy baby. All right, and I'm going to set it over here, and I'm going to water all three after I'm done. Whew, that way I don't get a bunch of wet and mud and everywhere. And this one's got a little too much soil in it, so I'm going to take a little bit out. Okay, now I'll try this one. All right, it is pretty warm in here. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing, loosening it from the sides. Make sure you compact it so it doesn't go flying everywhere as much as possible. And, and this is my widow. Okay, fold it up. And sometimes you have to wiggle the, the bottom of the pot to get it off the roots. Now this one's got a lot of roots. It was starting to grow into the pot. Look at that. See how they're away from the bottom? It was starting to grow out of the little holes. So, woo And you try not to do this right under the light. I'm across the room from the light. So, oh, we gotta put a little bit more in here. I think I keep taking too much soil out. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Put them on the edges. Okay. And you don't want to cover up the leaves. And sometimes I just like tap it a little bit, so make sure that the, the soil actually goes down into the pot and doesn't just sit up around the, the cube. Voila! There we go. See? There we go. Now you can see. And you don't want to put the soil right up to the very top of the plant, the pot, because then the water will go over. But you want to make sure that when it does sink down, you have a little bit of room, and you can add more soil on, on top if you needed to, or just make sure that there's enough around the plant. Here we go. Ooh, tight. All right, and there we go. All right, now, let's see here. I'm going to switch, because I already have the pot labeled. There we go. Oh, I'm kind of throwing it out the holes here. Woo! <laughs> That's why I'm on a plastic mat, so I can pick up all the dirt. <laughs> all right, let me see how this one is. All right, now, this is the White Widow with the deficiency. All right, woo, I'm going to stand up here. Well, kneel up straight so I can flex my back. <sighs> now, this is the one that has a little bit of calcium magnesium deficiency. And the reason why I can tell, because in two days, just two days, this is what happened. It started having these little yellow marks with little rust spots in the middle. And then it started going like this. See how this is curled up and dry? And it's all dry now? That's a calcium magnesium deficiency. And easily fixed. You can spray up some salt right on the leaves as long as it's in the dark or out of the light. You can, yeah, you know, I can set it over here and spray Epsom salt on it. As long as it's not wet when I put it back under, we're good. Or I can wait till the lights go out and spray some Epsom salts on it then. Sometimes you can take the Epsom salt 
and put it in the top of the pot and water it in as well. So there's a few ways to fix that. And when you actually make your own soil, when I make my own soil, I try to make sure that it has enough calcium and magnesium already in the soil with the dolomite lime that I put into the soil and mix in. So this will be easily fixed, but I wanted to get to show you what can happen easily in two days, okay? Very quick, this happens to little babies. Okay, back to the plug thing. And I loosen it up again. I already have it labeled. This is like this. Maybe it's a little bit more. All right, All right that'll work. This over. Let's see what these roots look like. Set it from the bottom. Right. Yep, these are trying to grow out too. See? See how they're out from the. There we go. See how they're out from the very bottom? They were trying to grow out those little holes. And they're very thick at the bottom. So I just set this on the top of that. And then. This should help fix this nutrient problem. Oh. All right, check out that. Nice. Okay, time to do the Harley Sue. And we just do the same thing because these already have roots coming out the bottom, too. <laughs> so, there we go. Fill up the pots between half and a third. This is going to sit inside again. This the bottom. Woo, look at that. All right. I think this needs a little bit bigger. All right, there we go. And just always be careful not to hit the top on anything. I luckily I have space right there. That's why I left that space there. Ooh. All right, let's see. There we go. Let's And now I shouldn't have to water them twice a day, but maybe once a day until it starts getting really super hot. But I was having to water them at least twice a day and they were like almost totally dry, like 100% dry and light dirt in it. It's like, ooh, that's not good. <laughs> you don't want it to dry out that quickly. There we go. Yeah, it seems like I'm filling up these up about a half, not just a third, so. Ooh. all right. Next one, and these, I'm just taking the stickers off and sticking them on. There we go. And loosen the side. Straight. Yeah. 
to bury the branches. <laughs> too much it needs a little bit to have over the top of the original short soil not a whole lot just a little bit Trying to have it where you can see. <laughs> All right, loosen the sides again. All right, last couple. And there we go. Hold it up away from everything. Oop, loosen that bottom. Ooh, that's what that's not. Oh my goodness. That's why I do it on a plastic mat so I can not lose any good soil. And it's easy cleanup. dry at the bottom so we can just take those off. Alright. And I don't want to forget to put the sticker. I can always put a new one on later. <laughs> Alright, and here we go. Last one. stand up and flex my toes. <laughs> Alrighty, now I'll show you how I water. You take this, I put it in my little watering can. This way I don't just chug it into the thing and have the soil move around. You try to go as nice and easy. Always remember the trays. <laughs> there we go. And two more this one. And I already washed the trays out and everything. All right. And here we go. I try to water it all over it. Right now, I'm just going to water them with the Super Tribe. And don't make them totally wet, but just moist enough. And 
You can use stuff like uh, the tapping roots or Peruvian gold, anything with like micronutrients, willow water, that kind of stuff is all good for roots. B1 is good for roots, just don't overdo it and burn them. So I just use the Super Thrive. And you don't make them too wet, they don't need to drip now. You don't, don't need to make them drip, just give them enough water to make the pots a tiny bit heavier, and then that way they can go look for that water and not be too dried out either. So you want it to be a perfect balance right there. And you can tell when they need water, you can just kind of lift them, and if they feel light, water them. <laughs> and, or if they seem a little droopy, water them. But I think I should be able to get away with watering these only once a day, and that'll be a lot easier. So this would be awesome. And like I said, just water them with a little soup drive, and you're good. <laughs> And that is our transplanting video. So I hope you all enjoyed. And please keep watching. And like, comment, subscribe. And ring the bell for notifications. And don't forget to have a peaceful day.